What would you say to anyone that's considering suicide out there uh, in regards to what what they do leave behind? So uh, what you leave behind is um, it's just pure upset and uh, a, a lot of questions and no one's ever going to get the answer for them questions because you're not there to answer them. Um, if you tell people what you're going through, they might not be able to help you, but they can hold your hand during that time. Do you know what I mean? And uh, I do understand where people get with a suicide. I've, I've tried it, you know, since my father died myself. Um, you know, I'm not sure if it was a botched attempt, but lucky enough, I'm still here, you know, and there is help, you know, I know it's fucking hard and, and I don't mean help with doctors or for friends. It's just there's help for someone to be with you and just sit with you while you're going through these bad things. The reason that I, I, I tried to do it this year is because I felt I was on my own. I had no one, you know what I mean? I'm sitting in my house days and days and days and I had no one there and I generally honestly thought that no one would miss me if I go. But once I changed my life and got my new house, you know, I realised things are going good. But mm. there's... I understand why people think about suicide, but I guarantee when you split up with your first girlfriend, you thought you were never going to find another girlfriend. Mm -hmm. When you lost your first job, you would never think you would get a job again. That day you run out of money, you'd never think you'd get a money again. Mm. We've all got it back. There's there always there is, sunshine you know, after the rain. And, and 